everyone, it's Cathy here from Bajobelo's Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how I created a matching gift card and tag. I've done a few examples here to show you how different they look. Uh, this is a nice swirly pattern with the word inspiration. This one has a, a squarer pattern that I'm going to use today with the word dream. A florally one with the art from the heart with the little butterflies. And this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing the magical one with a magical tag. These are the latest release stencils from Lavinia. And the stencils we're using today are the LAV ST030 Divine and the ST035 Words 1. I'm going to use the words magical. The inks I'm going to be using for this are the Distressed Oxide Candied Apple, Carved Pumpkin, Mustard Seed, Twisted Citron, Peacock Feathers and Dusty Concord. I'm also going to be using the Sweet Poppy Low, Stack, Low Tack Stencil Tape and some blending brushes to blend the Distress Inks. And I'm also going to have a glue runner for gluing things down. You can use any glue of your choice. And I have a tag. Um, I actually bought these tags in the local stationery shop. You can make them really easily, but they were on offer, so I thought I'll save myself the hassle. These are approximately 4.25 by 2.25 inches in size. I also have a bottle of water because I'm going to use the stencil as a mop-up afterwards, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to remove the background. I'm going to line up my stencil, um, sorry, my piece of card on the metallic ruler on my stencil board. If you don't have a stencil board, you can still tape the um, low tack tape to a piece of paper, but you'll probably have to hold your stencil in place whilst you're doing it. I'm going to put one piece of tape across the top of the card. And I'm going to put two on the bottom because I want a bigger white space on the bottom of the card so that you can write the wording in. Right, that's it. Right, and then get my stencil in place. I don't want to put this edge on there because otherwise you get a complete straight line. So I'm trying to put it where it's straight. It'll take a minute to line up to get it in the right position. That's yeah. fine. And then starting with the red with the candied apple, I'm going to just generously put I'm going over the tape so to make sure that I go I get a really crisp edge. If you don't go over the tape at each side you might not completely cover it. So a bit of orange. And then when I'm doing the orange, I'm also going slightly over the red to blend it in. And yellow. I'm doing the same thing with this, going slightly over the orange, and then the green. Peacock feathers. And the dusty concord last. point I'll leave one in place and I just lift it yeah that's fine right, and then I'm going to take off my stencil tape and get a nice crisp edge there we go right, I'm not washing my stencil at the moment because I'm going to be using it again and then I'm going to um to use it as a, as a mop-up. So I'm going to do the word magical. 
Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to get my cloth and wipe this because this was from the last time when I did a sample one. Right, so, I put the word magical. You can have it anywhere you like if you want it in the centre, but I, I want to have it on this one. I want to have it towards the bottom on the right hand side. So I'm going to reuse a bit of my stencil tape once I get that straight. And it stays. I'm just going to cover up the bottom of that word so that I don't accidentally go over the word above when I'm blending. Okay, so that's good. And we'll put stencil magnets down and we just do the same thing again here I actually calculated there's six letters oops that was yellow it should have been orange doesn't matter because I'm going to put orange over the top there we go Back to yellow and to green and blue And purple. Is it just me who does this? I put things down and minutes later I've, I've lost them. I don't know how I magic magically do that. Oops. And there we have it. The word magical. And that's the stamp. So I'm going to do the tag next. Tag is done in the same way, but because, as you can see, the purple's here and the red's here, the tag is a bit smaller, so I don't do it in the same place. I just move it further up the stencil, like that. Let's push that up and make it straight. That's it. And then we just do the same thing again. tag so now I'm going to do the wording on the tag now you might find it easier to do this on a bigger piece of card and cut it out afterwards um, I'm going to give it a go and when I first did it I did it on a big piece of card and then just trimmed it down but I will have a go now sure it's straight. Right. Orange. I'm just using what's on the um, brushes now because there's quite a lot on there. my glue and tape my magical under there. I'm 
this one I'm going to put on the bottom. You can put it across the centre if you want to, but I'm just going to do it on the bottom this time. And then let's do our background. to find a card base that is five inches by seven inches. tag and my card all done the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to put my stencil back on here I'm using my water spray I'm going to squirt a few bits of water over it and I bought some spare card with me I'm going to mop up all of that onto my card Gives you another background when that's dry, that'll be a nice background. I'm going to try the bottom part as well. And there we have another background, and you can keep doing that if you wanted to with more card to get lighter backgrounds. But I'm just going to show you with paper how I. if you did that with card obviously you would have a slightly lighter background so that's it let me just clean this off what's left an ideal gift when you're you know you want to coordinate your gift wrap and your cards etc i hope you enjoyed that and found it useful and i look forward to seeing you on our facebook groups we have two groups for um del bellows the first one is del bellows designs lounge which is for all things lavinia and we also have del bellows a la carte which is for anything else that's stored in patty's store that isn't lavinia so I really hope to see you on there and, uh, and please share if you try this, please share, I'd like to see. Thank you so much. Bye bye.